Today I'll show you how to make binder rings for your digital planners in PowerPoint. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I have this digital planner binder rings bundle with 70 PNG files. And they come with a partial commercial license so you can use in plans for yourself, but also in plans that you intend to sell. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it. But now let's get started with PowerPoint. Open a new blank presentation. I'm going to zoom in a little and then insert a circle. The circle will represent the holes in paper of my digital planner. Press shift while creating a circle so you get this perfect circle. Under the format tab, I will turn the shape outline to no outline. So it's going to get rid of the color and the shape fill we are going to work with a gradient. To open more options for gradient, we are going to click on shape fill, then gradient, then more gradients. So for the circle here, I'll change the colors to three dark colors so it gives a little shade on the circle. And I also change the angle of the gradient so it's not straight. Now that is done, let's duplicate the circle by selecting it and then pressing Ctrl D. Now for the rings, we are going to insert this shape with round corners. Click on this orange dot to adjust the roundness of the edges. Now we have this shape that looks like a ring when looking from the top. Place the other circle on the end of the shape and now you created the basic shape for your digital planner binder rings. To format this ring, we will use the gradient once again. I'll rotate the gradient here to 90 degrees so I have a shape that's darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. When you are happy at how the gradient looks, it's time to change the colors. I'm trying to create a golden ring. So I chose two tones of yellow from the color palette in PowerPoint, one darker and one lighter. I kept the lighter color in the center and the darker color at the ends of my gradient. Now I will add a highlight detail to my ring. For that, I chose this oval shape and made a small shape at the corner of my ring. And again, here we have to format this shape by getting rid of the outline color and then change the shape color to white. Now I'll add the soft edge effect to the shape so that it takes away the sharpness of the edges. And finally, I'll make the highlight about 20% transparent, just so that it's not so visible in my design. To do that, you go to Shape Fill, then More Fill Colors, and you turn up the transparency a little bit. Now that your design is ready, you have one binder ring, and we need to create several of them to put in our digital planners. To do that, we're going to select the entire design and press Ctrl G to group these items. Then we will press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Then you fit the first ring that you duplicate in the position that you want. And then you carry on pressing Ctrl D until you have as many rings as you want. The last thing to do now is to group all the rings together to make one piece. You do that by pressing Ctrl G. And now your digital planner binder rings are done. You can adjust it to size, make it bigger, duplicate, and add in any other project that you may have. To export this file, you just have to right click on the file and press save as picture. And now you can use this PNG file to add rings to other planners as well. From here, you can make more rings in other colors just by changing the color of the gradient. You can also make digital planning stickers in PowerPoint. Click on the video on your screen to learn more about that.